Nigeria Anti-Illicit Drugs Police, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, and DLEA, has arrested husband and wife in connection with illicit drugs trafficking and usage in Edo State. The agency also arrested two suspects who begged texts with illicit drugs in Bayelsa State. According to Femi Babafemi, the couple were arrested in European community in a San West local government area of Edo State last Wednesday. While one of the suspects who begged text cannabis for commercial distribution in Bayelsa State was also arrested with larger quantity of the already produced illicit drugs mixed baked food. NDLEA reports on Sunday suggested that there might be rampant cases of people using illicit drugs to beg texts in the South-South State as the agency recalled of a 20-year-old boy who arrested in the state for similar offense in the month of March 2024. NDLEA statement reads in quotes below, NDLEA officers at the Get Sea Departure Hall of the Lagos Airport on Friday the 26th of April arrested a passenger, Yahaya Danjuma Otura, while attempting to export 4,000 pills of tramadol to 125 mg to Malpensa, Italy on an Ethiopian airline flight. The psychoactive substance was found concealed in women wears and granulated melon packed in the suspect's backpack and another bag containing food items. In his statement, Otura, who is a frequent flyer, confessed he was hired to create the drug for 700 euros on successful delivery of the consignment in Italy. In Bayelsa, NDLA operatives on Wednesday, the 24th of April, arrested 20 at year old Jennifer Ilia at Amarata area of Yenagoa for producing and distributing text less with illicit drugs, especially cannabis sativa. At the time of her arrest, substantial number of the drug cakes weighing 1.5 kilograms were recovered from her. A 20-year-old hair stylist, Josephine Odunu and a dispatch rider, Edezemi Hikoro, 30, had been arrested on Sunday the 10th of March by NDLEA operatives for Indianagoa for a similar offense. Two suspects, Joseph Dadik, 47, and Ben Shayeri, 32, were arrested with 24,180 amples of pentazosine injection weighing 135.5 kilograms at Sabo Tasha, Kaduna, while Adamu Uma, 18, was nabbed with 20.700 kilograms cannabis when his house in Shuwe area of Wubi, Adamawa State was raided on Friday the 26th of April. No less than 310.7 kilograms cannabis was recovered on Thursday the 25th of April when NDLEA operatives raided parts of Mushin in Lagos State. While 300 kilograms was seized at Olatunji Street, Mushin, 10.7 kilograms of same substance was retrieved from two suspects, Tijani Wasiu and Suleiman Aisha at Anifowoshe, Mushin. While Stanley Chukudi, 43, was arrested with 5,900 amples of pentazosine injection at Sabun Gari area of Kano State on Thursday, the 25th of April, a couple, Frederick Odion, 53, and Gladys Odion, 52, were nabbed with 50 kilograms cannabis at Irekpin, a San West local government area, a dose set by NDLEA officers on Wednesday, the 24th of April. With the same zeal, the various commands of the agency across the country continued with the war against drug abuse WADA advocacy campaign in the past week. Some of them include WADA sensitization lecture for students and staff of Federal Government College, NICE, Anambra, Royal Institute of Health Technology, IFO, Ogun State, Apugo, Mize High School, Oji River, Enugu, Modibo Adama University, Yola, Adamawa, and Jubilee Secondary School, or Undo State, among others. While commending the officers and men of the Directorate of Prosecution and Legal Services of the Agency for the diligent prosecution of Uwazwoke and Abo Kessis, Chairman, Chief Executive Officer of NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Bubamawa, retired, said the success rate of cases prosecuted by the agency has shown that there's no escape route for those involved in the illicit trade of drug trafficking. He equally applauded those of MMIA, Lagos, Kaduna, Kano, Edo, Adamawa and Bayelsa commands as well as their counterparts in all the commands across the country for intensifying their drug supply and drug demand reduction activities. Osazuwa Kanlebe, bringing you the news in a more digital way.